If you want to blur moving water, if you want to give a sense of that water crashing down on rocks or flying down this stream, the best way to start is to go into aperture priority mode. We want to cut down the light coming into that camera as much as we possibly can. So aperture priority mode, choose the biggest aperture number, which will be physically the smallest aperture. So that's typically going to be f22 on most digital SLRs. Maybe on some lenses, uh, variable aperture lenses, that might be higher. You might get f32 on that. So that cuts that light right down. The next thing to do is to make sure that your ISO is at its lowest number, not auto ISO. Auto ISO is essentially trying to get you faster shutter speeds. So it's really the enemy of slow shutter speeds. So put that down to 100, put your aperture number to its highest. That's going to bring the shutter speed down as slow as it possibly can be for the current light. And really for water that's under pressure, what are you looking for? You're looking for about 1 15th of a second. If you can get 1 15th of a second, that's going to put water like this under some sort of movement. Slower moving water will require a much slower shutter speed. Faster, maybe you might get away at 1 30th but it's a good starting point. Now in the middle of the day, just as we are here, you know, you might just get in around that 1 15th, 1 18th. Early in the day, late in the day, certainly with lower light levels, you are going to be able to get a, a slower shutter speed at that point.